Hi, I'm Seb Proisy, and while I'm usually here to talk to you about tense equipment, in this series of episodes, we're actually taking you back in time to look at and discuss some of the most iconic rackets that have marked their time. So when we speak of legends, we often refer to something in the past which has then become legend. But what about those times we're lucky enough to witness something as we live and we just know it's already legendary. Well, this is one of those times as we talk about the racket that helped create the greatest clay court player of all time, Rafa Nadal and his Aero Pro Drive. Nadal already had his Aero Pro Drive when he won his first French Open title in 2005, and he's had it in hand for the 18 other Grand Slams he's won so far. Back in 2004, when Nadal was first appearing on the tour, he was using a Babla Pure Drive. That's a racket that was made famous in part by Carlos Moya when he won his French Open title in 1998. I use this comparison because the Babla Pure Drive was the basis that was used when creating the Aero Pro Drive. In fact, these two models are identical in head size, weight, balance, and string pattern. They do have one fundamental difference. And that's the essence of the Aero Pro Drive. And that's, of course, this aerodynamic shape at the throat of the racket. <laughs> As the advances in racket technology appear to be slowing down, it becomes a lot more difficult for brands to innovate. And many of the new features are often oversold gimmicks rather than a real evolution. This shape is gonna allow you to cut through the air in a way that's gonna favor the creation of topspin. And it's obvious that when Rafa and Babala were in talks to build this racket, one of the main things they had in mind is the creation of more topspin. We are now at the sixth generation of Aero Pro Drive. And as Babala introduces and then phases out certain gimmicky features like the Cortex, which you see on the second generation, the one thing that will never change is this aerodynamic shape. In fact, Nadal actually still uses the original Aero Drive. And like it's the norm for most other pros, it's just painted to look like the newer models. While Nadal has made some changes, like the type of string he uses or the weight distribution in his racket, it's still the same old Aero Drive that he had back when he started his legendary run in 2005 at the French Open. Aero Pro Drive, original. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you in the next one with some more legendary rackets.